All right, so this is my new toy that I've been playing in the garage with for a while. It's a, um, a mini lathe, a metal cutting lathe. And I've finally gotten my first, uh, although I've done a few little projects, uh, you know, for example, all these these pieces of the lathe, I, I did the, the ball and replaced a lot of the knobs just so that it looked more interesting. Uh, but I finally got my first little steam engine working. And here it is here. I've got it chucked up in the vise, and we'll take a look at it. I haven't made the um, a stand for it yet. That's why I'm using the vise to hold it. But uh, this is what's known as a, as a wobbler. And let me move some of these pieces out of the way. And the way it works, uh, you have a, a fitting here where the steam or compressed air comes in. And this cylinder block uh, here, I'll take that apart in a minute, but it it has a hole in it, and there's two holes in the case here, so that when the air pressure comes in and the flywheel moves around, I'm just not trying to do this one-handed, it moves the the cylinder so that a hole in the cylinder lines up with a hole that holds the pressurized air or steam and that comes into the cylinder block and pushes the piston out which makes the flywheel turn and in the process that rotates the cylinder so that it no longer makes the contact between the hole for the pressurized steam and the cylinder and it actually opens up a hole for exhaust that's coming out the other side and so the, the way things generally go is so now we have steam coming in, it pushes the cylinder, the piston down, flywheel comes around, actually I got that backwards, flywheel comes around, now we line up, it, now, now it's lined up with the pressure, pushes the piston, makes the flywheel come around, shifts the cylinder, and now the cylinder comes around and pushes the old steam out, and shifts the cylinder, lines it up, and pushes again. So it's a simple valve mechanism. It's just kind of based on the, the wobbling, and they call this a wobbler engine, of the block. And how this was made, this was all made out of uh, just pieces of metal. I made everything in here except for that little bit of spring. I, I cut that off of a pin. But the, uh, the body came from a, a quarter-inch aluminum plate, the cylinder itself was shaped and bored, and it started off with this block of uh, three-quarter inch brass. The flywheel uh, came from a chunk of this. The uh, crankshaft pin, little steel pin, uh, the crankshaft wheel from this, the cylinder, and the, the piston, and I'll take it apart here and show you in a minute, uh, similarly done. So let me put the camera down, and I'll chuck this up in the, the vise, and we'll watch it run. Okay, just a sec. Okay, probably shouldn't try to do this one-handed, but here I've put the engine in a little vise just to hold on to it, and I've connected it to a, uh, a little hose that goes into some compressed air, and let's give it a shot here. Okay, let's see if we can do this one-handed. All right, there we go. And I'll try to make it run slowly here. A little too slow. And that's why they call it a wobbler. You can see it wobbling away. Move the camera here. <clears throat> and it's, it actually works. So this is my first engine project. Eventually I'm gonna try to do some more complicated ones and use some, whoops, what's called sets of castings. That's uh, it's just, Turn along, and I'll just kind of speed it up here, get more pressure. And with uh, probably about uh, as close to 20 pounds of pressure, which is kind of a lot for this, so it's kind of reduce the pressure somewhat. I like it best when it's running slow. You kind of see the action more, and it's ticking away. All right, so this is uh, my Elmer's 25, number 25, that's the plan, uh, Wobbler steam engine, which is kind of a traditional first steam engine for folks building them from scratch. <laughs> 